Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So what I'm bringing you right now is the Greenbrier Hotel. And during the Fallout 76 beta, Maxis and I went here pretty pretty much right away because we wanted to see if we can find the vault, which we eventually did, but we didn't we weren't able to get into and we had to figure that out. But anyway, the Greenbrier Hotel, in my opinion, is the best area to go at lower and higher levels for all the things that, you know, it gives you. And um, if you head east or, you know, southeast, you'll come to the Greenbrier Hotel, which is right here on the map. And the reason I think this area is the best is because it has every single vendor in the entire game. Um, it has health, it has materials, it has, well, I meant aids by health, but uh, it has... <laughs> weapons you can collect a ton of things in there the bowie knives which i'm about to pick up they sell for a decent amount and they're higher level and you know you can trade you can go out and kill things and come back and buy materials you can sell material it's, it's just all around the board the best trading area in the game involving vendors you can obviously trade with other players but you know this is the best area where you can buy and sell things for caps now, if you go a little further into the hotel, you can actually find every single station in the game. You have the armor, power armor stations, you have the weapon stations, you have the alchemy, you have the um, ammo, the armor, everything. Also, right here you can see I have my personal stash. So you can throw stuff in, take stuff out. If you don't want to carry everything around, like all the materials, you can pick them up and craft some ammo with them. Or anything like that and it's a really convenient area to go to at the beginning of the game especially because you know you're not gonna have all this stuff right away and you want to start upgrading your weapons at the beginning of the game and upgrading your armor preparing your stuff and you know you probably won't have access to all that by building a camp or just finding areas with it this area has everything together and that's what makes it such a, a good area to go to right away and it's not hard to get here either encounter a little bit of things but uh if you're careful you can just avoid everything and just hop on over now as you can see here i'm building some weapons using the bench and you also get a lot of achievements from doing stuff like this so you're getting bonus xp which is going to help you level even more and you know you can add mods sell it trade it with players Power armor is not that easy to get, but, you know, if you have power, then great. Now, what ended up happening is we went outside the hotel, and we actually encountered the the mutant bear, the Yao guy, or the Yao Goy, or something like that, but, uh, these things are pretty strong, and it was lagging a little bit here just because, uh, my recording messed up a little bit, but, um, we had the Protectrons and the robots taking this thing down for us, and we got the XP, we got the, you know... We got the things from the bear, and we were able, I was able to level up with it. Now, another thing to consider when going to this area is leveling charisma. And the reason for this is you can get things like, you know, buy stuff for less, sell stuff for more. And it's really a nice area. There's a lot of things to explore. There's a piano you can, you know, find and play in this hotel that gives you bonus uh, you know, per well, it gives you like bonus effects. Like, I, I don't, I'm not too sure what they are, but you know, it will help you out as well. And it's just, it's just quite convenient to have this area near you overall. Now, right outside the hotel, there are a ton of areas to start farming some creatures, or in, in this case, we had ghouls. And you can find some legendary creatures around here. If you ever run into trouble, you just run back to the hotel. The robots will take care of them for you. But, you know, we were just getting some XP real quick over here. Uh, the one thing you have to be careful for, though, is you don't want to go too east. Because if you do, you're going to encounter what I encountered. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, please like the video. If you're not already sub, sub. Great, thanks. Bye.